state with the largest coastline of India, Gujarat. It's said that no town here is more than 100 miles away from the sea. And this week, I am soaking up the sun on my journey from Bhavnagar to the Union Territory of the U. Catch all my coastal adventures on Follow the Star. Gujarat accounts for 22% of the country's coast and is bound by the Arabian Sea. My journey along this long shoreline begins in the Saurashtra region, a peninsula between the Gulf of Kutch and the Gulf of Khambat. Starting from Bhavnagar, I will drive on the National Highway 80 past small towns like Goga and Alang before concluding my journey in the Union Territory of Diu. The whole journey would be around 200 kilometers. The city of Bhavnagar is the best starting point for travellers exploring the southern tip of Peninsula Gujarat. It was once a princely state ruled by the Rajput Gohil family. Apart from a 19th century temple and a scenic lake, other attractions also include a few heritage buildings and the Neelambak Palace, which in its new avatar is a plush heritage hotel. Although Bhavnagar has a small airport with limited connectivity, one can access non-stop flights to major cities from Rajkot, which is just three hours from Bhavnagar. I might have made it to Bhavnagar quite easily, but my road journey was only just beginning. Given the luxury of good roads in Gujarat, I took the liberty of having the swanky Mercedes S-Class as my car of choice. This luxury sedan adds more than just a touch of comfort to road travel. All the seats provide an automated lumbar support that corrects poor posture and decreases fatigue during long hauls. Passengers can also enjoy a multi-mode massage system in the car. As far as the driver is concerned, the S-Class has several assistance systems one of them being a sensor camera that offers a 360-degree view of the car during parking. This all-in-one car made me feel well-equipped and I was quite revved up about hitting the road. A lot of the coastal areas of Gujarat are steeped in rich history as this is where trade flourished back in the ancient times. I was heading to explore the past of Goga, a small town 20 kilometers from Bhavnagar. The road that turned away from NH80 and led up to the town was a well-maintained two-lane road and it didn't take me very long to find my way. The town itself was more of a village and one would never realise that it was historically important. Even though it doesn't look like much right now, Goga is one of the most ancient ports of India. People say that it goes back to the times of the Mauryan dynasty and Alexander the Great. But documented history shows us that it was only established during the 5th century AD. Also, the sailors of Goga were considered to be the best sailors in India, even during the Mughal and the British times. Aside from it being an ancient port, Goga is also home to one of the oldest mosques in the country. The Juni Masjid was supposedly built by Arab traders in the 7th century during the time of Prophet Muhammad himself. It is considered to be one of the oldest mosques in the country.
Although the roads around this mosque are extremely narrow, it definitely makes for a fascinating stopover if you have an eye for history. After Goga, there is quite a bit of traffic on the road. Combined with frequent speed breakers on the road, the drive is not that smooth as one would have wanted it. However, the quality of the road was nothing to complain about and was excellent consistently. My next pit stop is Alang. Alang is famous for being one of the biggest shipbreaking centers in the world and is also known as the graveyard of ships. Visiting a shipbreaking yard in Gujarat might not be a popular tourist activity, but you've got to visit one to know what it's worth. Alang, a small town in the Bhavnagar district, might seem remote at first. But little known is the fact that the world's most powerful ships are dismantled here. Once a ship finishes its shelf life, it's sent to Alang. Workers then use basic tools to dismantle each vessel piece by piece. But what about this little town makes it an ideal shipbreaking yard? I decided to ask a local. So, sir, why is Alang only shipbreaking? Why is it not anywhere else? Why is it in Diyu or in any other Gujarat place? Why is it in Alang specifically? What is it? ये पानी है ना बंगाल का खाड़ी है ना तो उसमें पानी का करंट बहुत रहता है तो कोई भी शिप है तो उसमें वो कम ताकत से पूरा किनारे पे आ जाता है बीच में रहता तो खर्चा ज़्यादा लगता है किनारे पे से सब खींच खींच के लाना पड़ता है और पानी भी यहाँ पे अपने तीन चार घंटे के लिए वापस चला जाता है त कोई मशहूर या बड़ी शिप आया आया था यहाँ पे मशहूर मशहूर शिप आया था यहाँ पे कभी ब्लू लेडी आया था वो पैसेंजर था उसमें घर के लिए चीज बहुत बढ़िया बढ़िया थी सोफा कुर्सी गद्दा सब बढ़िया बढ़िया निकली थी हाँ 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 बढ़िया बेचने के लिए थिएटर बीएटर सब था उसमें क्या अनोखी चीज चीजें विविधता रहती है, कुर्सी भी अलग-अलग टाइप की आती है, वो सब अलग-अलग टेक्नोलॉजी आती है। और यहाँ की सारी चीजें शिप से ही आए हैं ना? हाँ, सारी शिप से ही आती है। शिप में बहुत अच्छी चीजें चीज निकलती हैं। इसलिए सब खरीदने के लिए भी बाहर सब लोग बहुत आते हैं। और सबसे ज्यादा क्या बिकता है? सबसे ज़्यादा तो लोहा ही निकलता है तो लोहा ही बिक्री होगा ना प्लेट ही प्लेट ही निकलेगा ज़्यादा तो और क्या है ये घर का सामान भी कुछ निकलता है गद्दा निकलता है ये निकलता है फर्नीचर निकलता है ये क्रॉकरी सब निकलता है अरस्ता बच्चा सब निकल as well as some of the most surprising items that are collected from demolished ships and all at throwaway prices. These warehouses have literally everything. Ships are completely stripped down and every component inside a ship is resold, from nuts and bowls to even a chainsaw. It really was astonishing because one could find anything between furniture, old crockery as well as washing machines. And if one wished, one could even pick up a couple of lifeboats at throwaway prices. This flea market was certainly an ideal place for treasure hunting. In fact, Alang itself came to me as quite a pleasant surprise. Coming up, I finally reached my much-awaited destination, the Union Territory of the U, and see one of the most dramatic coastlines in India. Stay tuned to follow the star.